concerned should we be about the briefing that you received on UFOs? Is that a concern that for pilots? Is there anything you can mention to us about that? Well, I think some of the press reports are accurate. I think people are are taking this issue much more seriously, and um, you know, I'm not going to get into any of the contents of the briefing. It was a classified briefing, um, but what I I think the one of the key takeaways I'd have is that the um, the military and others are taking this issue seriously, which I think in previous generations may not have been the case. Is that there are things flying over our military installations and the military doesn't know what they are. And so anytime you have things flying over a military installation and you don't know what they are, that immediately raises issues of counterintelligence and that immediately raises issues of national security. In my opinion, this is something that we should be studying. And as I said, it's a worldwide phenomenon, if not just here. Well, I'm not going to get into any uh, details on classified information. I have uh, received a, a similar brief um, couple, uh, over a year ago. Uh, I need to get an update as well. And you know, I'm concerned about anything that might threaten the health and well-being of you know, our pilots. And so my view of it is that we have something that that we need to know the answer to. Uh, the American public deserve to know as much as possible about it. And we shouldn't allow the stigma associated with the term UFO uh, to keep us from trying to answer that question. Uh, we've got a lot of those pilots that fly out of Oceana, uh, fly out of Hampton Roads. Uh, if there is anything that is um, uh, disturbing their flight patterns uh, or potentially a threat, um, I think it's appropriate that the Navy and the armed forces generally uh, take this into consideration.